Ryan Garcia says he's here to shock the world with a victory over Luke Campbell. And Luke Campbell responds. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang, notification gang, please hit that bell icon. Now, Ryan Garcia, it looks like he's about to fight Luke Campbell. Still waiting on the announcement. I don't know why it's taking so long for this particular fight. Ryan Garcia has a vlog, a YouTube vlog, and he was signing the contract. I don't know when it was filmed, but the video's already been uploaded and got views. And we're just waiting for the formalities and the official announcement. The purse bid, this was supposed to go to a purse bid because they hadn't agreed, but then the purse bid was scheduled. They did like a public Zoom, and then it was canceled saying that they had struck a deal. This was last week during the fires in California. You know, I want to wish everybody safety. I had to evacuate for a few days. If you guys follow my channel, you'll know that. And yeah, I'm just waiting on the fight. We're just waiting for Ryan Garcia, Luke Campbell to be announced. DAZN in general, where's their schedule? You know, but that's a separate video. They they haven't really dropped much of a schedule. And then fights that they had like Jorge Linares, he failed the Rona 19 test and his fight with Javier Fortuna they tried to get Hector Tanadea and Tanadea's people and team said he needed more time so the the fight that would have happened this weekend I think got scrapped and canceled but Ryan Garcia says I'm coming to get what's mine Luke Campbell people in the comment section are saying Luke Campbell is different you're about to go to sleep Luke different he's average Ryan's on another level um Jorge Classic said what I'm asking is the fight sign when is the official date? <laughs> Somebody put a clown. I'm coming to get what's mine. <laughs> Let your boxing do the talking. Luke better move his head a lot more. Luke don't have no belt fool unless this is some type of YouTuber. I'm just trying to see the comments. Luke will pick you apart, mate. 12 round schooling. Luke will smash you about the ring. So it sounds like some dedicated UK fans by the jargon. So we'll see. But Luke Campbell did respond. He says, cute. I remember my first big fight. We will see. So that's them on their verified page. Again, we're just waiting for the formalities and the confirmation that the fight is taking place. He said he's com coming to shock the effing world. So we'll see. I think it's a step in the right direction. Um, it's not, you know, it's not Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney or the people he's calling out like Ryan Garcia versus Gervonta Davis, but it's a start. And Luke Campbell, he's a gold medalist. We just seen a gold medalist over the weekend who was the underdog and he just upset Dillian White and knocked him out with a single shot. So, you know, you can't sleep on any type of Olympian or gold medalist. We'll see what Ryan Garcia brings at this level. He looks to be improving with Eddie Reynoso. And like he had a couple performances, Jason Velez, and the dude after that and i think he fought on facebook or something and he didn't look that great in those fights but since he teamed up with canelo's trainer eddie reynoso he has seemed to be a bit more alert a bit more on it he's had some very very flashy first round knockouts in his last couple of fights so this will be his biggest test on paper on paper for sure not talking about like amateur career and because i know he's fought devin haney five six times as an amateur i'm just talking about as a pro as a pro this is his biggest uh, opportunity and even guys like his promoter oscar de la hoya said something to the effect of ryan garcia has an opportunity here you know a big opportunity the thing that'll be interesting most interesting i look at fights like this as a barometer fight just because Luke Campbell, in my opinion, no disrespect to him, but he's not the end-all, be-all. He doesn't have the most momentum. He was nearly stopped by Lomachenko. He did hurt Lomachenko, for the record, but the thing that's interesting is just that he fought Lomachenko, and he fought Jorge Linares, and he fought and lost to Eva Mendez or whatever, Ivini Mendez, somebody like that, right? And he's tasted defeat. He's been at the top, and he hasn't quite peaked beyond that level as a pro even though you know despite being an amateur olympic gold medalist however ryan garcia he hasn't fought at that level either as a pro so 
you know, we can't hold that against Luke Campbell for losing to Lomachenko, who is the consensus number one until otherwise proven. We'll see with Teofimo. Alexa, cancel. We'll see with Teofimo. That was Nipsey Hussle. I set my alarm, but, you know, I'm a dog. I wake up. I wake up before the alarm. I wake up before the alarm. Hard work, dedication. Let's get it, man. I beat my alarm by like hour and a half, two hours. I'm ready to go, man. Smash the like button. It's real. It's so real. I told you I'm going to make 2020. I'm going to make it my bitch. Let's get it. But um, yeah, Luke Campbell, again, he lost at world level to Jorge Linares, former champion who lost to Lomachenko, and then Lomachenko who beat both of them, right? So there's no shame in that. But Ryan Garcia hasn't fought up to that level as a pro. You know, he hasn't. So this is a step in the right direction because this will be the biggest name. So now is the time to see if it's ready, if he's ready, you know, at least for that step up. Because Dillian White, he was saying that he wanted a title shot and he was creeping on the door, knocking on the door. We are hungry. Please let us in. We are hungry. Please. Yo, well, pick the lot, and then I'm coming through blasted. <laughs> yeah, tell me what that's from. But yeah, Dillian White said he was ready for a title shot, and then he came up mad short, getting knocked out by Povetkin. So, we'll see. We'll see what fate has in store for the young gun, Ryan Garcia. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. If you love what I'm doing, smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego. And I'm back with some more sports. Get unlimited access to premium content with an ESPN Plus subscription. ESPN Plus offers a variety of content, including specials, behind the scenes, docu-series like Bruce Lee's, B. Walter, and much more. With an ESPN Plus subscription, you get access to a ton of classic archive fights and replays from boxing and the UFC. Big names like, hi, I'm Mike Tyson, Come and watch my fight. Floyd Mayweather, easy work. I'm rich. And Manny Pacquiao. Uh, yes, it's up to my promoter. Do, 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 do. Just to name a few. If that's not enough, you could get the ESPN bundle, which includes ESPN Plus, Hulu, and Disney Plus. All three apps, one low price. You don't want to miss out. Make sure you guys click that link in the description box of all of my videos. Ego, signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.